yo, what is up? It's B Milton, and today I am playing some Battlefield Hardline Beta for you guys. And uh, yeah, basically, uh, I got the demo on my PlayStation 4. Uh, well, it's a beta. And uh, as you see, let me just start off if you guys don't know anything about Battlefield Hardline. Um, right now, I am playing as the uh, like the enemy, the the uh, robbers, the bank robbers, and uh, I just planted a, a little bomb on that money truck, and we're trying to escape, extract money out of the city. Uh, and the opposite team are the cops; they are trying to stop us from collecting all the money. And uh, yeah, now that you guys know what the game is about, I will continue. And uh, first, I have to let you guys know that I've actually had a really good time playing this uh, beta, but also I'm really kind of at a loss for trying to trying to figure out why they're about to try to sell this game for sixty dollars, like uh, just an actual normal game, sixty dollars. Because uh, although this game is really fun and um, They've done a few things, like they've changed, uh, they, they've made new maps, there's new vehicles, um, there's new, a few new guns, you can like zip line. you can do a few cool things. Um, the graph, like this is, this is Battlefield 4 graphics, it's Battlefield 4, um, everything about the game, like, uh, the actual movement, the how buildings can blow, like blow up and uh, just the mechanics of the game is exactly like Battlefield 4. Um, in my opinion, they should have, instead of bringing out just maps and nothing important in like some type of uh, actual uh, game or like a add-on or whatever, how they, they have new map packs and stuff where you have to pay more money for new maps and everything. That's what they should have done with this, man. I don't really understand why they want us to pay, you know, full $60 again for what is actually, to me, I can tell, it's just a mod to Battlefield 4. Um, yeah, I, I don't understand. Uh, it's a fun game. I've had a lot of fun playing it. As you see, uh, uh, this is actually one of a short, this is kind of a shorter gameplay. I know it's about like 10. 10 to 11 minutes or something like that and uh, thanks for for uh, staying with me through this but um, it's just so much more fun playing the game um, the the new things that they did add are really cool and um, like the zip line this I don't know I don't know if like what the maps are gonna be like but this map that they have you play on uh, on the beta is really fun man um, you can zip line from roof to roof you know things like that that they added um, I wasn't a fan that the beta only has core mode because if you see me, like, I know maybe not in this video, but in a bunch of other, uh, videos I'm sure I'll be sharing with you guys, I will just light people up with this, uh, UMP or any gun and, uh, people just don't die, man. I don't know what it is, dude. Like, uh, I just can't stand core game modes. Um, I don't know, uh, and I'm the sniper that it cut you uh, originally get at the very beginning. Um, well, actually, let me touch on this: that uh, the machine gun that that guy just laid me out with, that is the most overused uh, gun in this game. Everybody uses that gun, and they just spray, 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 spray with it. That was just a really bad spawn. I probably shouldn't have spawned there, but um. Yeah, what was I saying? The sniper rifle, yeah. The first sniper rifle that you get is uh, a two-shot kill. I mean, if you shoot someone in the head with pretty much any gun, it's pretty much a headshot, you know, one-shot kill. But if you shoot them twice in the body, then you'll kill them with a sniper rifle. Um, I don't know, man. It's kind of really annoying. Um, just, just because the beta is core, so, yeah. I'm just a little, a little frustrated with uh, shooting someone a million times. There's that uh, machine gun again. I'm telling you, people just spray with that thing all day. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, I've had some, uh, <clears throat> I've had some really good times playing this game. Um, I, 
I know that I'm sitting here bitching and moaning that, you know, they're making this uh, $60 game, uh, but I'll probably buy it. I don't know. I'm really not sure. Um, to be honest with you guys, tomorrow, the reason that I might not buy this or I might not really be playing a bunch of other first-person shooters is because tomorrow on PlayStation 4, um, finally, uh, Blacklight Retribution, the free-to-play game that came out right away on uh, PlayStation 4 right from launch, uh, it's coming out of beta. So it's going to be a full game, and uh, <clears throat> every type of gripe that I kind of had about that game, uh, well, the, the game is amazing on, uh, it's really good on PC, and it flows really well, but uh, they had some uh, connection air, like issues and just a few things about the aiming and things like that that I didn't like um, on the, the PS4 version. But uh, besides that, I mean, they talked, that's what they're saying, that they fixed, you know, that when it comes out of beta, there's going to be aiming improvements, there's going to be new game modes, there's going to be new maps, there's a zombie game mode. Um, yeah, basically it's going to be a full game, and that might really take some of my, my time away. Um, I, I love playing first-person shooters, and Battlefield's really cool. Um, Call of Duty's cool, you know, I mean, I, I can dig either one. Um, I'm pretty decent at both. I'm actually about to make a Battlefield 4 montage with all the clips that I've gotten over the time playing Battlefield 4, uh, so stay tuned for that stuff. But yeah, uh, I, I also stream this. Uh, I stream uh, Battlefield Hardline if, in case you guys want to see it in uh, real time see some crazy stuff go down and see my reactions and stuff like that. Um, it, you can't really tell, uh, I mean I guess you can, the, the screen's kind of a little bit blurry and uh, if you see like my eyes they're kind of dark around the edges and stuff, it's because I'm my guy is using a gas mask because there are uh, like gas canisters, like grenades that you can use instead of an actual grenade. But yeah, um, <clears throat> in this video um, where if you see what we're doing is we're uh, I have never actually had the uh, oh that guy just came out of nowhere but I, I've never actually had the uh, package the money uh, you guys got to see me like uh, plant the bomb and blow up the truck early at the very beginning but uh, I've never had the actual uh, money but what we're doing is we're moving through like checkpoint type of things to try to get to an extraction uh, it tells you on the map where the extraction is um, or if you are on the cop side of the, the team, you will see where the actual money carrier is. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like a capture the flag sort of deal. Uh, it's fun though. This is my favorite game mode. There's two game modes on the beta. It's this and then like another one where there's like a central location on this map um, that I'm actually near right now. Uh, and uh, there's like I don't know, basically a vault, and like you have to steal money and take it back to your spawn point, and uh, both teams are trying to meet in the middle and get the most money. I actually like this game mode better. Uh, I believe, uh, I forget what they call it, but uh, yeah, this game mode is uh, a lot more fun in my opinion, just because people um, run around more and you can jump from building to building and everything. Everyone's not in one central location, uh, just trying to steal money or whatever. Well, that's where that guy went. I was sitting there just... I got shot in the back, so I might as well just turn around and spray in case that dude's just running up on me, so... But, um... Yeah, uh... The buildings... I don't know if all the buildings are destroyable, like, in Battlefield 4, like, you can just blow up buildings and they'll fall over and crumble. But, uh, there is a crane. Um... Excuse my poor shooting here. Uh, should've killed that guy. But uh, there is a crane that falls down. If you, if you actually, um, yeah, there's there's like these actual uh, like strings and everything that hold this uh, crane up. If you destroy them or if you like fly a helicopter into them and knock one down, you knock all of them down. That the crane falls down. It's kind of really annoying. Um, I mean, it's good. It's good to do if uh, 
It's good for like uh, changing the map and everything, but it's kind of annoying because when it's falling down, the entire map just shakes uncontrollably. Um, and yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, hard to. I guess I'm, I guess it's a good factor though, because like, what if you're close to someone and they, you and that person see each other and you're trying to shoot each other and just like craziness is happening. Could be cool, but I've never really actually ran into a problem like that. Normally, when the crane falls, I am just. I don't know, randomly uh, on the map. But yeah, I think this uh, this is about to be coming towards an end here. Um, I did pretty decent in the game, and here in a second we are about to actually extract the money, and we're about to win. Um, but yeah, uh, as sooner or later I'll be bringing you guys some sniper gameplay, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to be streaming all day long. I'm going to be streaming tons of uh, Black Flag Retribution. Hopefully they don't let me down. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you like the, the battlefield. Peace out.